Welcome to the Chameleon Tool tutorial video. In this video we'll cover how to use the Chameleon feature, as well as some tips and tricks for using it. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the main software tutorial videos where I cover installation and the main toolbar features. But now let's get started with Chameleon. With the Chameleon bar, you can import outside media and bring it into your eGlass Fusion software. Let's start with images. To import an image, click the symbol and you can select an image file saved on your computer. It will then prompt you to convert to transparent image. Now I can just simply click and drag my image from the chameleon bar onto the screen. From there, you can resize the image by scrolling the mouse wheel and you can move it around by clicking and dragging. As you can see, since I selected yes when I was prompted to make the image transparent, the colors were inverted and the background was removed. And now I can write under it and you can still see me through it. How the chameleon feature works is that it takes the media files that you want to import and when you drag them in, it superimposes them onto the eGlass. So any physical writing you do on the eGlass will be behind all of the media. That's why making an image transparent allows you to still see your writing. But if you see here, if I drag in a non-transparent image, you can't see my writing under this. Sometimes the chameleon feature has a hard time making some images transparent. So if that's the case, just go ahead and bring in a non-transparent image, and while you may not be able to see through it, you can still annotate over it with the built-in annotation wheel. The chameleon feature also allows you to import PowerPoints. You can click and drag PowerPoints into eGloss Fusion like this. It will take a second to upload, then it will pop up as a transparent PowerPoint. And just like images, you can resize it and move it around. To click through your PowerPoint, you can press the forward and back buttons located at the bottom of the PowerPoint window. Since your PowerPoint is transparent, you're also able to write underneath and annotate freely on the eGlass. Another great feature of Chameleon is the ability to bring content from the web into eGlass Fusion. Simply open up a web browser and highlight what you want to copy over, then click and drag it into eGlass Fusion. Text isn't the only thing you can bring in from web browsers though. You can also bring in some charts and graphs such as this pH level chart that I have here. And again, same with other imported media files, eGlass Fusion will automatically make the images transparent so you can write on the eGlass and see your writing. Last but not least, here's one last trick you can do to import any media that isn't directly supported by the Chameleon tool. Word docs and PDFs are just a few examples. Using your computer's built-in snipping tool, you can capture a screenshot of your screen and save that snap as an image file. Then you can go back into eGlass Fusion and import that image through the Chameleon bar. When you're using this tool to take a screenshot, try to make sure that the background of what you're snipping is one solid color. Otherwise, Chameleon might have a hard time removing the background and making that image transparent. Also remember to keep in mind that your writing will only show up underneath transparent images, but if you don't want to import a transparent image, you can always annotate using the digital annotation wheel. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to check out our eGloss setup videos and other software tutorial videos located at eGloss.io forward slash academy, or email us with any questions you might have at hey at eGloss.io.